Hi. I've been watching a lot of Twitch streams and fighting lots of players, and one conclusion that I've come to is the fact that most of these people don't know how to properly manage their ship. At the beginning of a fight, they have the setup correct. They have one person on the wheel, and everyone else on cannons. But once the fighting actually starts, they'll sometimes fall into chaos, and you'll have everyone going down below deck to repair the three holes that they have, or the helm will get on the cannons, forget to turn the wheel, and put themselves in a bad spin so they end up losing angle. With this video, I'm going to try and explain what exactly each person's role and responsibilities are on each ship type, and hopefully next time when you get into an intense situation, you can remember what your job is and stick to it, rather than running around like a headless chicken not knowing what to do. The first thing that we need to understand is the four different roles that need to be filled whenever you're on a ship. These four roles are the helm, bilge, flex, and main cannon. Now I'm not going to go in depth on the little details and nuances of each role in this video, but for now, I'll just give you a surface level understanding so that you know what I mean when I'm talking about the different roles. The helm is supposed to be on a wheel and ensure that you keep angle at all times. The bilge's job is to repair and bucket the boat to make sure that you don't sink. Now the flex has multiple jobs. The important ones are to help the bilge bucket when it's coming in too quick, resurrect teammates, go for boards on the enemy ship, and turn the wheel if the helm gets knocked off the boat. The main cannons is just a cannon bot. Since everyone else has these specific roles that might take them away from being able to shoot cannons, your job is to ensure that you always have at least one person constantly shooting the other ship, and trying to put the other ship in as bad of a situation as possible. Whether that be blunder bombing them into nosing you, shooting their wheel, or trying to one ball people, the main cannon's job is to keep up the cannon pressure and put the other ship in as bad of a spot as possible. And again, this is just a baseline understanding of each role. There are plenty of nuances and different situations that would cause you to not follow the outlined duties for each role. This is just here to explain the basics. That way when I talk about each different role, you understand what I mean. Now on to specifics for each ship type. In case you didn't know the cannon order, they're numbered from front to back. So if I say first cannon, that would be the cannon closest to the front of the ship, and you can fill in the rest of the cannon numbers from there. So on a galleon, you would have main cannon on first, bilge on second, flex on third, and helm on fourth. When the fighting breaks out and you start getting holes, only the bilge should be going down below deck and bucking out the water. Flex should only come down if they need a reball, or if the bilge calls them down and says they need help. Otherwise, the flex needs to stay up top and keep up the cannon pressure. If the enemy crew is trying to board you, it becomes the flex and helm's job to watch for borders. You would only want main cannon or bilge to help watch for borders if the other team goes for a full four-man board, but other than that, the flex and helm should be able to get it done. Now when a brigantine gets a little more advanced, since you only have three people to fill four roles, you need to switch it up a little. Main cannon remains the same, they go to first cannon, flex goes to second, and on a brigantine, the helm is also the bilge. A lot of people, especially on brigantines, will have the bilge on the second cannon, and the helm will be the flex. And while this strategy can work, it's more effective if you can keep the same people on cannons for as long as possible. If you take some holes and the bilge goes down to repair, then that means the helm now needs to get on the cannons. The problem with this is that the bilge was already dialed in. They knew how high and where to shoot in order to hit the other boat. So when you take someone who is constantly hitting the other ship off the cannons and you have the helm take their spot, not only will there be a small transition time where you're not shooting anything, but the helm will miss the first couple shots because they just got on the cannons. Whereas if you just have the helm go down to bucket and repair and keep the flex on cannons, then you'll be able to maximize your damage output and there won't be any unnecessary transition time between shots. Now that's not to say that when you have 10 tier 3 holes that the helm needs to stay down below to bail the boat. I'm saying that as long as you can keep your boat afloat with just a few buckets here and there, then it's better to let the helm take care of the water and holes rather than losing half your cannon pressure just to repair a tier 2. So when you start taking holes, have the helm put you in a spin, then go down below and bilge. If you're taking a lot of holes to the point that the helm can no longer effectively keep angle because they're having to constantly bucket the boat, then you can either have flex take the wheel and be the designated angle keeper, or have the flex go down and bilge so that the helm can get back on the wheel. If someone is trying to board you, then depending on the situation will determine who needs to guard ladders. If you have a lot of holes and are in danger of sinking, then whoever is down below repairing, whether that be the helm or the flex, should stay down there and bail the boat, and whoever is not bailing should be watching ladders. But if you have no holes, then just have the helm watch ladders so you can keep both people on cannons and maximize your damage output. A sloop is pretty much the same as the brigantine. Again, you'll have someone be the helm and the bilge, and the other person will be the flex and main cannon. Some people might swap up the roles and have someone be the helm and the flex, and the other will be the bilge and main cannon, so that they can swap around and have the person on cannons go down to bilge and have the helm switch to cannons. But like I said before, for the brigantine, while this strategy can work, I like the idea of keeping people on cannons for as long as possible. So I'd rather have a person be the dedicated cannon and have the other person do everything else and just let the cannon, cannon. So if you're taking holes, have the helm put you into a spin and start repairing or bucketing the boat. 
if someone is trying to board you, depending on the situation, will determine who needs to watch ladders. For the most part, Helm can watch ladders since they'll either be up top by the wheel or bucking water near the map table so they can shoot through the window and knock the border off the ladder. However, if the Helm is all the way down below repairing and bucketing, then it would be up to the Flex to guard ladders. And for all these roles and ship types, cannon pressure is the most important element in order to win a fight. It is incredibly easy to win a fight if the other crew never shoots you, so no matter what, your first objective in any situation, besides not sinking obviously, is to always be shooting the other crew whenever you get the chance. This is why it's super important to know what your role is in these different situations, because you don't want to have everyone going down below to bail the boat, or have everyone going over to watch the ladder. You want to have one person doing one thing, that way you can keep up the cannon pressure for as long as possible. If you're never shooting anything, then it'll be super easy for the other crew to win because they have no pressure on them. The worst thing you can do is completely stop shooting the other ship, as this will give them no holes, no risk of getting one balled, and no danger. And since they aren't in any danger of anything, since they're not being cannoned, they can spend all their time and resources on shooting you and putting holes into your boat. Now this is nowhere near as in-depth as I normally go when I make my videos. When I usually make my videos, I like to delve deep and try to cover almost every situation that could occur, and give you a strategy to combat that situation. But I will be making 4 different videos, each one based on either Helm, Bilge, Flex, or Cannon, and I'll be going way more in depth with those videos and explain every little thing that you want to do in order to maximize your ability on that role. Hopefully I was able to explain a little bit about what each role is supposed to do when certain situations arise, and which players are in charge of which roles. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, so you can see my 4-man galleon crew completely wipe the floor with a solo sloop. And if you'd like to, join the Discord and react to the standby role, and I'll make sure that I message you whenever I need a spot filled. Anyways, good luck.